Hi, I'm Juho. Whether this is your first time with us, you're a regular attender, welcome. We're glad you're here and we want to connect with you. So please take a moment and fill out our connection card with as much information as you feel comfortable sharing. Please write legibly as this helps us to connect with you. On the back of this card is a prayer request form. If you have a prayer request, let us know. Simply drop it at the offering basket as they go by. Also, we have a gift for you, a book entitled, Since Nobody's Perfect, How Good Is Good Enough? Pick up your copy at the Welcome Center on your way out. Tuesday night we have Pathway, our small group journey to freedom in Christ addressing all types of hurts, habits, and hang-ups. Wednesday is Family Life Night. Adults will worship and pray together downstairs in room 106. TCSM will meet in the sanctuary for our 7th and 12th grade students. There will be no Royal Rangers, Missionettes, or Nursery this week. Friday at 10.30 a.m. is Prime Time, our ministry for those 16 over. Join us in the sanctuary for Bible study, worship, and prayer. Hi, I'm Rosanna, and welcome to this month's Mission Spotlight. As you know, Harvest Time was invited by the Masters Foundation to conduct a Bible Day Camp at the Way of Love Church, pastored by Vladimir Dominski and Yu Kane. We immediately connected with the pastoral leadership and congregation and felt like we were with family. Our team participated in Sunday services by preaching the word, special music, and ministering at the altar. The Bible camp ran from nine to five each day with more than 95 children, and we fell in love with each one of them. We ministered to the children through various activities surrounded by the theme, Discovering Jesus' Miraculous Power, and shared the good news of Jesus Christ. We also gave a Master's Foundation children's Bible to each child. On Thursday, we invited the children to respond to an altar call, and they immediately came. You could hardly hear a pin drop as team member Joe began to share how Jesus gives us the power to live forever. How precious to watch these young ones recite the sinner's prayer and invite Jesus into their hearts. Pastor Ruth prayed for each child and spoke words of encouragement and life. One child was shocked when the Holy Spirit revealed to her exactly what he was thinking. At the end of the week, we invited the parents to a closing celebration where the children shared what they had learned. Pastor Bob was shared that 90% of the parents who attended were unbelievers. We also had the privilege to visit a senior home, rehab center, and special needs orphanage. At the senior home, we prayed for a woman that we were told was lifeless, and after we left, we received word that she had revived. Our time at the rehab center was spent encouraging and praying for the workers and residents. The special needs orphanage left a life-changing mark on all of us as we spent time with God's most precious gifts. We were blessed and honored to partner with the Way of Love Church and pour into the lives of our Ukrainian brothers and sisters. We all left a piece of our hearts into a bridge when we said goodbye, for now at least. Let's continue to pray for peace in the Ukraine. Finally, on behalf of our missions committee, thank you for your faithful giving to your missions pledges and offerings. It's because of you that we were able to touch the hearts and lives of the people of the Ukraine. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop by our Welcome Center and pick up some information or visit our website at hdchurch.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for our church updates. That's all for this week. God bless and have a great day. Thank you.